I hear it over and over from the men that I work with, from the people who I talk to day in and out. You're probably thinking the same thing, right? We are about to embark into the summer. As you see, there's boats out here. We're standing out. The weather's a little bit crappy, but it's going to be nice. You know it's coming. Picnics, barbecues, probably going to be Memorial Day by the time you see this. And what these guys keep saying over and over and over is they're building this pressure on themselves. They're like, man, I know it's coming. I've been contemplating, like, how am I going to get through this? I don't just want to get hammered. I don't want to, I don't want to leave my, my family terrified. I don't want to get a DUI. See, that's what happened, right? Maybe that's happened to you over and over and over. You're partying somewhere. You're down on your boat. You took the time off from your business. Things are going really, really well, but subconsciously you've been frustrated thinking about this. You go out, next thing you know, you have one too many drinks, you slip, break your nose, blood all over the place, make a fool of yourself, spend way too much money, leave the kids terrified, and leave a long lasting memory that, hey, should be memorable. The question here is, what do you wanna do about this? Do you want to continue to run these, these good things in your life, these, these events that you should be doing, this time you're able to leave legacy and enjoyable memories with your family ruined by alcohol. I know for me, I had enough. I was sick of taking my family down the path they didn't deserve. I was sick of being the man that everyone wanted to party with, which wasn't fun. It wasn't it was feeding my ego at the time, but it was just ridiculous. I was sick and tired of watching my son or, or get, not even being able to pay attention to him because I got so wrapped up in drinking and consuming the alcohol for myself that I wouldn't even give him the, like, the time. I wasn't present. Sure, we were there and he was there. But here's the deal, you know summer's coming, you're successful, you're a businessman, you're a family man, you're a dude who wants more out of your life, but you're sick and tired of letting this alcohol control you, right? You're sick of being a slave to the thought process of do I need a drink today, do I not need a drink, that is wrangling inside of your mind instead of focusing on what you should be focused on, your family, your health, your business. Look, you have a decision to make here, just like all these guys I talked to, instead of fearing it, do something about it. What I'd like you to do about it is actually check this video out. I put together exactly how myself, hundreds of men just like you, have actually figured out how to control that thought, how to control the alcohol and get the results they want. What I want to do is invite you to watch this video. It's seven minutes of your time. You can watch it right before you head out on the boat, right before you go to the barbecue. It doesn't matter. Keep it on top of your mind. What I want you to do is click the link right now below and see how we did it. Click the link below, check out the video, and I'll see you on the other side.